Hello, I'm Jean Wetzler, and I'm talking with John Tuzinski about COBRA. Hi, John. I've read a little about the COBRA provisions in the law, and I see the terms COBRA subsidy and COBRA continuation a lot. What's the difference, and can you tell us what COBRA stands for? I'm glad you asked that. Let me start out by saying that COBRA, C-O-B-R-A, stands for Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act. Congress enacted COBRA in 1985 to provide people with the opportunity to extend their health care coverage when they would have otherwise lost it due to events like reduced work hours, job termination, divorce, or a spouse's death. Since enactment of COBRA in 1985, the covered individual has been responsible for 100% of the total cost of insurance premiums due. What's new and different beginning in 2009 is the COBRA subsidy, a provision in the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, or ARRA, enacted on February 17, 2009. This act provides for a government subsidy for a portion of the COBRA health insurance premiums. I see. Who will qualify for the subsidy and how does it work? Workers who are involuntarily terminated between September 1, 2008 and December 31, 2009 qualify for the subsidy. This is different from regular COBRA, which applies to employees who were involuntarily or voluntarily terminated. Now under the subsidy, the worker must pay 35% of the cost of the premium to their former employer and the employer pays the balance. ARRA subsidizes the employer's cost of the premium for up to nine months. A worker is no longer eligible, however, for the subsidy if they begin a new job with employer-sponsored health care coverage or they become eligible for Medicare. How does the employer claim the subsidy? The employer claims the subsidy on the Form 941, employer's quarterly federal tax return, beginning with the 941 due in April 2009. The credit is subject to verification, so the employer should keep good records to substantiate the amount claimed. That substantiation should include, but not be limited to, proof of the involuntary termination, receipts for the employer's 35% of the premium, verification of payment for the insurance coverage, the invoice or other documentation from the insurance company or carrier verifying the nature of the payments, proof of each individual's eligibility for COBRA coverage, and a record for each assistance eligible employee that includes their SSN, the amount of their subsidy, and how many individuals their premiums covered. I see there's a lot to the COBRA subsidy. Where can our viewers go for more information? Information about the COBRA subsidy and other ARRA provisions is found on our website. And we continue to update this site as details and additional new information become available. Look for a banner on irs.gov that leads directly to our ARRA pages and click on COBRA coverage. Or you can just type COBRA in the search box from any irs.gov page. The Department of Labor also has a lot of helpful information about the subsidy and about the COBRA continuation coverage in general. Thank you, John. I've been talking with John Tuzinski of the IRS. This is Jean Wetzler.